Hello there, it's Kathy with Paper Phenomenon. I'm here to share the finished foldable envelope. I hope you guys found that video super informative. If you already knew this information, then it, perhaps it was a refresher for you. If not, I hope that it makes your crafting project so much more easier. Uh, makes your life easier when you can get a good mat. So here is a foldable envelope. You find this in your SVG, in your journal jam, SVG bundle, and all of the links will be in the description box below. Look at how cute this turned out. So really, really sweet. The paper collection I used here is the Hawaii Hula. I will also link you down below to that collection. Everything that you see in here is from the Hawaii Hula collection. Look at how much goodies you can fit in here. Look at this drink. This one is laminated. How sweet. We've got some vintage uh, ephemera here. I got a little uh, uh, photo booklet here and another vintage post office telegram card with writing and all that good stuff. So I love these pieces. I love incorporating some vintage pieces in with a collection that's really bright and vibrant and just screams summer. So uh, I think it goes really well together. Here we have some uh, luggage tags or airport tags. These are so fun. I love these. I cut these out really, really well. I even cut all of the detail out so we can get that perforated look. Again, all of this is in Hawaii Hula. I made this little book and I made a little pocket with the lemon uh, slice. How cute is that little pocket? And I used some papers from my journaling. Oh, whoopsie, that glued down where was it supposed to? From uh, my journaling papers and I'll show you, I'll link you to that as well. I also made a little tuck pocket with, or a little tuck space with this uh, house. I folded the house in half and you can put some photo mats in there. Look at how cute that would be. I didn't cut any to size, but here, let's throw these in here. Why not? Why not? Oh no, we can throw some of the film strip pieces that are in our journal jam SVG file. These have to be backed with white uh, cardstock, but how cute is that? We even have small ones and there's even Larger ones, we have a three photo uh, film strip piece. We have a one photo and we have the double. So really cute. So I will be backing that to cardstock and throwing that in there. Look at how cute that looks. I love that. Very, very cute. And uh, that's it. That's all we got in here. Oh, yeah, I did show you the top. So this is just all super cute things. Some photo mats, of course. Uh, but there's so many cute things in this collection that I just had to use almost everything. A lot of a lot of the things in the collection. There are so many embellishments, so many embellishments. I'd like to give you an array of embellishments. And the only reason for that is is because I like you to have lots and lots of choices. Not every embellishment is going to go with, you know, every single page. So I rather have a lot of choices and uh, be able to pick what I need and what I want. And if I have some left over, what I love about the digital collection is that you don't have to print them all out. So that is spectacular. So Hawaii Hula, let me show you some of these amazing embellishments. There's quite a few drink options here. All right, look at how sweet cocktails. Just darling cocktails, guys. Look at that. How cute. We're going to be using the Hawaii Hula Collection on Friday in my class, 7 p.m. Central, right here on YouTube. Look at these. How spectacular these are. Oh, my goodness. They're just so beautiful. And these are printed at the 12 by 12. I will also be printing this at 6 by 6 because I want to make these tiny for some dangly options. I haven't printed them yet, but you know this would have a dangle here if I had done that. Uh, there's lots of fruits. Look at this dragon fruit. How fabulous. Uh, I love the little houses or the little, the little huts. I'm not sure what they're called. My Scooby-Doo van. An avocado. Look at the fruit, guys. Look at that with the leaf. How darling is that? Another cocktail. And some more of these guys. More cocktails. 
and some more little houses but I want to get to the, some different things we've got a few birds here well that's the same bird I know there's two different bird styles I love this to make a pocket that would be cool an insertion point perhaps that's why I love the big ones because you can make all sorts there's the other bird all sorts of different insertion points with these larger when you print them at the 12 by 12 and then here are some of the vintage ephemera so here's a telegram another telegram here some uh, some more uh, airport luggage tags all sorts of things guys just really really pretty and we have these here look ah look at this how awesome is that all right so this is so fab i'm in love with this collection i'm in love with all of them you'll hear me say that all the time look how fabulous hold not wanted on the voyage i love it this is so fun so fun so fun so fun so i printed these all these little ones these here it's smaller uh, as you can see here this is an eight by eight and this oh i did print them Ah, but this is an eight by eight. I want them six by six. And then I printed them six by six. And that's what I use for the back of this guy, like a little, uh, like a stamp, a postage stamp. So very, very cool. I wish I had postage stamp stamps so I could make that even more fun. But I don't have any more stamps. I'm going to have to build my collection up again once I said I will never, ever get any more stamps. What was I thinking? All right, my friends. So... This is the foldable envelope, and you find this in Journal Jam SVG Bundle. I'll link you down below. Pick up Hawaii Hula. You will not regret it, and make sure you pick up the Journal Jam SVG Bundle. I will be doing a lot more tutorials on how to um, resize these files and you know how just to make your life a lot easier if you're not familiar with using SVG files, all right? I specifically have a Cricut, so that is what I will speak to. I cannot speak to any other machine because I do not own it. But for you Cricut uh, owners, I've got you covered, all right? Uh, if you have a Silhouette or another machine, there's a ton of YouTubers that give classes and tutorials on how to use the files. So I highly encourage you to do that. And even Cricut, there's a ton of Cricut people that know way more than I know. I know basic things, easy peasy things that you're probably gonna be like, really Kathy, I knew this already. But anyway, <laughs> nonetheless, I still will be showing, uh, uploading some videos with how to videos on using SVG files, etc., etc. So I hope to see you all tomorrow. All right, 7 p.m. Central, let's uh, hang out and craft. This is Kathy with Paper Phenomenon, and until next time.